welcome to Kids Academy. Hi and welcome to the Kids Academy Chess Course. My name is Robert Lazorczak and I'm a certified teacher with international and national chess teaching certifications. I will be your guide as we begin to master this great game. Now let's get to the chess. Welcome to our second video in the chess course, and we just have a bit more of housekeeping to do before we begin to discuss the pieces. Today we'll be talking about chess etiquette. The first question you might have is, what does chess etiquette even mean? Well, it is the polite and respectful way to act at the chess board. What I'm about to tell you really applies to behavior in chess tournaments, but it wouldn't hurt to begin following these guidelines now so you become used to them. The first thing I would say when you begin a game of chess is that every game should begin with a handshake. Just like when I was a boy playing sports, after each game the teams would line up and shake hands, the same thing happens in chess. Not only will you shake hands at the end, but it's customary to shake hands in the beginning as well. Sometimes players say good luck, but that's not necessary. The second thing is chess is a thinking game, and in order to do your best thinking, you should not distract your opponent, especially if it's his or her turn. This means no talking, don't click your pen, don't blow bubbles with your chewing gum. Basically, anything that would annoy someone who is taking an exam should not be happening in a chess game either. You can sort of think of it like a library. Use library rules. Number three, white always makes the first move in chess and both players should follow the touch move and touch take rule. What this basically means is that when I was a boy and I would make a move, my father would let me take that move back and change my mind so long as my finger was still touching the top of the piece. Well, in chess tournaments, that doesn't really work that way. If you touch a piece, you are committed to moving it. So if I touch my knight and I'm getting ready to move it, and then I suddenly see, oh, I have a really good queen move, well, it's too late. I've done my thinking, I've touched the piece, I am now committed to moving it. There's also a rule called touch take, which is similar in that if I touch an opponent's piece intentionally, if I intentionally touch an opponent's piece, I have to capture it. Now this is true if I touch it with my fingers or even if I take my piece and bump into it as though I'm capturing, well then I'm committed to taking the piece. And finally, at the end of the game, offer a handshake regardless of the outcome. Um, it's best not to gloat in victory and don't display poor sportsmanship in defeat. And regardless of the outcome, it's always nice to say a simple, good game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in video three, where we'll begin to talk about the chess pieces. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>